Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to give you an example of recording camera movements during a simulation and playing them back in Visual Components Experience. To get started, you can go to your eCatalog panel and under Models by Type, click Demo Layouts and open this layout called Final Palletizing and Packaging. You can, of course, use your own layout if you want to. This demo layout has predefined views, so now I'll use the camera animator to write a program for moving my camera. Let's go to the first view at the start of the simulation. Then go to the second view at about 10 seconds. The third view at 20 seconds. And the fourth view at 30 seconds. Make sure you have the camera animation enable checkbox selected here. I'll click close. And if I run the simulation, I start at the first view. Then the camera flies or moves to the next view in 10 seconds. And then it goes to the next one and after 20 seconds it'll go to the last view. So just flying around. Alright, this looks good. So what I will do is reset and now record the simulation as an animation. I'll start recording. Save the file. And now the simulation should start and it's recording. So we'll just wait for the simulation to reach about 30 seconds or the camera to stop moving and then I'll stop and save the file. So we're at 20 seconds. And here we go. Yep, looks fine, so I'll stop and save. It'll show me the file. And I have Visual Components Experience installed on my desktop. You could, of course, use you know, you know, a smartphone, a tablet, or another device to play back this file. But I'll double-click it to open Experience. And these recorded camera movements currently are only supported in 3D viewing mode, not VR. So I'll click 3D. And we'll open experience and create the scene. Boom! There we go. Make it bigger. And right now you can notice that I can, you know, free roam. I can move the camera however I want to while the animation is playing. Like this. But if I want, I can go down to the bottom left corner here, click the gear icon. And notice I have this option to use recorded camera. So this is the recorded camera movements I had. Turn it on. And now I'm not touching anything. The camera is moving on its own. So yep, that's just one way how you can play back those recorded camera movements. And now the animation will loop back and start again. Aha, nice. For controlling the speed at which the animation is playback and experience, you can go to the top right corner here. Right now it's at one times its speed. We can go super slow more. <laughs> okay. And now we can make it super fast a hundred times. Whoa. And it's just, you know, playing, looping back, playing again, playing again, over and over again. I don't want to make you sick, so let's go to two times the normal speed that was recorded. And this looks fine. Yep, nice. All right, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, have a wonderful day.